This feature is made possible by Hospitality Mints, the perfect complement all wrapped up, and by Architectural Concepts, architecture, planning, interior design. Reporting from the Venetian Resort Hotel Casino in world-famous Las Vegas, Mando News presents coverage of the 2008 Arda Convention and Exposition. Hi, I'm Sharon Drexler with Drexler Communications here for you from Mando TV. And sitting with me is Jonathan, John Fredericks. He is president of Welk Resorts and also chairman of Arda. And Jonathan, I wanted to, or John rather, I wanted to ask uh, what has caused you, I know there's a lot of uh, sacrifice of personal time and travel and focus that goes into being chairman of Arda. It's really quite arduous, if you'll pardon the expression. So I wondered what moved you uh, to undertake this? Well, we've really been members of Arda since about 1985, and I started in the timeshare business in 1987. And so we've really been beneficiaries of Arda's great work over the years, uh, both legislatively and through education and research and, uh, and really through just connections in, in con conventions through the association and so forth. And so when I saw the opportunity to give back by serving in a leadership role, I, I certainly jumped at it. And, uh, you know, not the least, uh, least concern of mine was, was the amount of time. But with the staff at ARTA and really the capable hands of Howard Nussbaum, the, the president of ARTA, I knew that, uh, you know, it would be a great time to serve as chair, chairman, in part because I knew that the, the association would be doing great work and uh, my time would, would be somewhat limited in that there's such great staff that, uh, you know, really Arda is, is not a, a ship that needs fixing at the moment. Well, that's great. Are there any challenges uh, that you're particularly facing that uh, you feel like, yes, maybe I'm here serving a, a, a greater purpose? Yeah, there's certainly a number of them. One is, uh, I think, if you look at the legislative agenda for ARTA, it's really grown exponentially. I think if you look at some of the battles we're fighting in the states and the need to monitor legislation in all the states, I think just that job alone has grown from what really what used to be a one or two person department to five or six people with you know 100 paid staff people and then certainly about 120 volunteers. We've got lobbyists in over 12 states and we're real very active legislatively on the state front. I think nationally it's, it's a challenging time because uh, being an election year, that there's certainly a natural instinct of uh, legislators to make sure they're passing legislation that addresses the subprime crisis and the, the mortgage crisis. And time sharing can uh, inadvertently be sucked into some of that legislation. And so we're, we're battling uh, challenges all over the place in that regard. Uh, so I think certainly legislatively, it's going to be a challenging year, but a year in which I think we'll see ourselves grow. Uh, I think in terms of public relations, we're just about to launch the beginnings of our new public relations initiative, and I think that's exciting. Having a consumer website where we start to disseminate information, having a proactive campaign of going out to the media and communicating with them about time sharing and about the wonderful lifestyle opportunity of time sharing and kind of get it off the real estate uh, pages and newspapers and move it into the uh, lifestyle and, and vacation uh, stories because really you know I think for anybody who's been a timeshare owner and who enjoys the product it's real clear that if you use it it's it's a wonderful experience and you get real good value out of it just from the use aspect alone and so I think we're we're excited about that public relations opportunity as well. Yeah, and Jonathan, I know that uh, always since ALDA, the days of ALDA, uh, the, uh, one of the main focuses of uh, the organization has been to fight transient uh, occupancy tax. And I know that's a hot button for uh, resort managers. So uh, is this an ongoing issue for, for your team? It is. You know, I, I know that uh, in many areas, transient occupancy tax is paid on timeshare rental. And there's the natural challenge of making sure that when our owners exchange from one destination to another, that that event itself does not become taxed. And that's certainly a concern, ongoing concern for ARTA, for our members, and one that, that we're acutely aware of and on top of. I appreciate your time very much and your busy schedule. Again, this was Jonathan Fredericks, 
uh, John Fredericks, president of Welk Resorts, and I'm Sharon Drexler uh, for AskMando.com, Mando TV.